Landing pages and websites serve different purposes. A website is your brand's online first impression, yet a landing page is more like a handshake, forming a small part of that impression. In some situations, one is more effective than the other. In this video, I'll break down those differences so you will clearly understand when to use each. Please check the timestamps in the description if you need to skip ahead. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to build your own landing page using Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. Seedprod is a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to learn how CPRO can help create amazing landing pages for you. So let's quickly discuss what is a website. And in this example, we're going to use seedprod.com. So a website is a set of related web pages with information about your business. They typically explain your business, what you do, and the products and services you offer to potential customers. Your website may also have specialized pages like a blog page, WordPress login page, testimonials page, and more. Plus, you can access all of these pages using a navigation menu with links to each page. The primary function of a website is to describe your business to interested users, and in many cases, offer a product or service. So now let's talk about what is a landing page. In contrast to a website, a landing page is a single standalone web page designed to encourage users to claim an offer. This could be anything from eBooks or discount coupons to free trials or demos. Instead of describing your entire business, a landing page includes specific page elements highlighting a single offer. It does this with attention grabbing copy, eye catching images, removing the navigation bars, call to action buttons, and similar page elements. As a result, it directs users' attention to your offer, driving them to subscribe as new leads or convert into paying customers. So now that we've discussed what a website is and what a landing page is, let's answer the question, what are the differences between a landing page and website? As you can see, landing pages and websites are two very different things with different goals, but what are the main differences? Let's take a look at this table and break down the differences between landing page and a website. So how many pages would each one have? A landing page is usually just one single page that focuses on a single offer, where a website could be a few pages, dozens of pages, hundreds, thousands, or even millions. What information would you show on each one? So the landing page are details about a specific offer, whereas a website would offer everything readers need to know about your business. And this would be related to the next one, which is about the audience. So landing pages have users who are most interested in that specific offer. These are usually people that come from some type of ad campaign, like a Google ads or a Facebook ad, some type of social media ad, and they are already interested in what you have to offer. And now you're just trying to sell them and click through on the specific call to action, where a website are users with a general interest in your business type. So they want to dig deeper and look into what kind of business you are. So these are people who are looking, for example, a web designer. They do a search and they find your website. Now they're probably going to read about you and they're going to look at your portfolio, look at your testimonials and tons of other information deep in your pages. The navigation on a landing page is very limited. Usually there's no menu or navigation. There's no footer with links in it whatsoever. This is because we're trying to stop any traffic leaks. So these are people that we want to keep on the page and they're their only goal is to click on the button to sign up to whatever we're offering. On a website, however, all pages are accessible, so they can click through and browse and take their time to look through all of the information. So what's the purpose of each? I think by now it's pretty clear, but a landing page is to sell or capture leads. And on a website, it's to explain and present your business. So now that we discuss websites and landing pages and the differences between the two, if you've chose to make a landing page, the rest of the video is going to run through how to create an amazing landing page really quickly and easily using Seedprod. So the first thing we want to do is open up your WordPress dashboard and we're going to come to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description. And I'm going to be using the pro license for this video just to show off a little bit more of the features that Seedprod can offer. Go ahead and create an account here and sign up for one of the pro licenses and we're going to go ahead and log in. On the left-hand side, enter the email address and the password that you used to sign up with. In the Seedprod dashboard, you're going to click on the Downloads tab right here, and we're going to click to download the Landing Page Pro plugin. We also need the license key here on the bottom left, so we can click the icon there to copy that, and we can close this window. Next, let's go to Plugins and Add New, and go to Upload Plugin. We can drag this file, or you can select the zip file from your file system. Let's click Install Now, and click Activate the plugin. Right here, it's going to ask for your license key. Let's paste that in, and Verify Key. You should see a green success message if everything went well. If you're using the same browser as I am, we can close this Download tab at the bottom. And now we want to create our first page. So you can click the button here, or you can click on Pages in the menu on the left hand side. Seabrod can be used to create many different type of landing pages. There's a coming soon mode, there's a maintenance mode, login page you can create, and 404 pages. So you can customize all of these. We want to just create a landing page today just as a demonstration. So click the button here. And the first thing 
CPR is going to do is ask you to choose a new page template and you can filter these by type. So if you have a lead squeeze page or a thank you or maintenance mode, you can filter these. You can also create one from a blank template if you wish. So I'm going to select sales and you can click the magnifying glass to preview one of these templates. You can see the mobile version as well, or you could close this if you want to select a different one. So just scroll around and find one that you like, and then go ahead and hit the check mark to import that one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one and it's going to ask you for a name. I'm just going to call mine landing page, but you can call yours whatever you wish. Save and start editing the page. Now we're inside the actual seed prod visual editor. On the right hand side, you'll see the template that we just imported, which looks great. And on the left hand side, we can see our blocks. Now blocks are these little features that we can import into our page instantly. So we can delete that if we don't want it. We have everything from buttons, images, videos, headlines, text, lists. We have advanced ones with giveaways, opt-in forms, social sharing, image boxes, everything that you would need to make a successful landing page. So the first thing you'd want to do is add your branding and your content. So you would change your logo here. So right here you can click and you can delete this and upload your own image. And this is where you would drop your logo in and select it. Or if it's already in your media library in WordPress, you can select it there. Seedprod has an undo and redo button down at the bottom here. So I'm going to undo that. And you know what? I'm actually going to get rid of this whole header piece here, this whole section. So I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to use this as the main landing page header. So again, the same thing with the images. We could click here and remove this and you could upload your own or use a stock photo. So I could click here and type in just food and then pick one that I like. So I could pick this one. This kind of keeps with that orange theme if we wanted to keep that or we could change our colors completely. For the header, we just click here. This is the block settings and on the left, you can see all of the options change. So we can just type in a new header if we like and we can change the alignment and we can change the font size. We can bring that down a little bit or a little bit bigger. We have some text here we could edit and we have a button and we could change the text on this. There's also some subtext as well if you wanted to put something in here and then the link that you want this button to go to. If you put the align to the full width, that'll be a full length button. I'm just going to keep it back to the align left. If you continue to come down the page, you could just keep doing the same thing. So I could click here, delete and find another image. So there we go. We have a nice salad. Again, you would change the headline the same way as we did above and the text. And we would just work our way down the page, changing everything. Now these buttons, you could link to another landing page or some type of sign up form, or you could replace these with an opt in form. I have a footer here. I'm actually going to get rid of this because we want to keep our landing pages as clean as possible possible and we want them to focus on the one action so instead of linking just to a button let's delete this and i'll show you we can drop in an opt-in form and i'll put that right in here if we click the options i'm going to hide the name just so they have to enter their email address if we open up submit button we can change the text on the button and as well the success action so you could show a message you could show a redirect page so seedpro could actually technically create a thank you page for you and i have videos on thank you pages and different types of tutorials with seedprod on our channel so i highly recommend you subscribe and check those videos out. Also, if you look under the advanced tab, a lot of these have different color options and styles and spacing. So you could check out different options here and the font family. There's also global settings that will help control your fonts. So you can pick a header font or a body font and we have font themes. So I can come through and just pick one and it'll update all of the fonts on the page instantly. We also have the color so I could pick a different theme here. So if I click the color palettes, we have preset ones. So if I went blue, you can see how the button changed to blue and the button down here as well. We have background options, so you could add a solid color. Right now it's just white, a gradient. We could put a background image. You can even do video backgrounds. And if you know any CSS, you can type in your own right here. All right, now that we're happy with our page, we can actually connect this opt-in form here to the connect section. So if we click on connect, this will connect to your favorite third-party email marketing service. So for example, Constant Contact, you would create an account with them and click connect here connect new account and they will provide you with an API key that you can paste in here. You can give it a connection name. This is optional and then click connect. And now you can use constant contact to manage all of your signups through this opt-in form. The third tab up here, we have page settings and we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain general. We can change the page title, the URL. We can publish this. We can also publish with the drop down up here. And this is what I use personally. We can show a seed prod link that says powered by seed prod. And that'll be in the bottom right corner. And if you like, you can join our affiliate program, and get a 20% commission on all sales. You just have to paste your URL in here. You can also put your landing page into isolation mode, and this will prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins under SEO. We highly recommend 
recommend all-in-one SEO. So you can install that with one click here. And the same thing with your analytics, we recommend using Monster Insights. If you need to paste any scripts into your header, body, or footer, you can do that right here. This makes it really easy to do. As well, you can set up a custom domain. Now this will link your landing page URL. You could type in your own custom domain and it'll forward to your landing page URL. So technically you could have one WordPress installation with Seedprod and have many different landing pages all linking domains to specific landing pages in Seedprod. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can read the documentation on the seed prod documentation section. All right, now that everything looks good, let's go ahead and save this and we can publish this and see the live page. And there we go. We can see the landing page that we just created really quickly and easily. I hope this video helped you understand the differences between a landing page and a website. In this video, I demonstrated a quick landing page. Now would be a great time to learn more about SeedProd by starting with this video on how to make a sales page in WordPress. I'll walk you through the process step by step and explain the features of SeedProd in more detail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.